Hi everyone, it's Lehman with Lace Covered Skies. I'm here today with a super cool estate sale. I finally went to one that was just awesome, like the ones I used to go to. <laughs> um, this one belonged to someone who did a lot of sewing, a lot of different crafts. She had a whole room dedicated to crafts and it there were many different genres of crafts and each genre was like organized by subcategory like by color by texture it was so cool and i didn't have enough time to really look through everything so i did my best to just pick out the best of the best and i could have been there for hours literally um but yeah so cool so this fabric right here feels like an upholstery fabric and i love the sheen on it it's a pretty good piece and I threw this into the wash, um, just super hot water and super um, dried it on hot and it just looks perfect. You might notice there's glitter because I picked up a piece that had glitter in it and a few videos ago I had um, gotten some a dress from the thrift store and there were sequins everywhere in, in the dryer. This time, there was glitter everywhere. I mean, everywhere. I felt so bad because I share the dryer with the community um, and there's a whole bunch in the lint area. So I was like, oh my God, like what if this, there's just like glitter everywhere in the dryer. So I took out some paper towels, dampened them and just wiped everything down. Luckily, there wasn't that much in the dryer, but it's all over my stuff. And you know, it, it's fine. It just makes everything more magical <laughs> but you'll see there's glitter in here and that's why but I really loved this material love the sheen love this gold color if there was more I probably would have gotten more so I got that I got this material now she had tablecloths and I think she made them herself because um, this material, there was like different things like pillow shams, um, a slip cover maybe, and a tablecloth. I didn't get all of it, but I got a nice big piece right here. And I think I got the tablecloth as well. She had everything organized. Like it was super, just all the tablecloths were together. Like this is a tablecloth. I love the flowers and I love the peach background. And then a bonus is the edging right here of lace. So got that. And then I found just a little bit of this embroidery. I'm sure there, there was more there, but I just didn't get to it but I got this little piece and there's a crochet edging, which I love. And then I found this, which is also like thick enough to be an upholstery or outdoor fabric. I know those are really expensive in the fabric stores. So I got this. And this is, it just seems very quality because there's like texture in the background, a little bit of embossing here. I don't know if you can see that, but I just love this. And then I got this little bit right here. I was picking just bits and pieces really. Okay, this also, this was not in the craft area, it was in the linen closet. And I picked it up early on before I got to the craft room. Um, I've been working with these kind of muted colors, so I liked that. This was also in the linen closet. Oh my God, there's glitter everywhere now. <laughs> um, but I've been working with more of an older style. So I liked this and I like that it's very faded and kind of like a cool tone, like gray lilac. So 
So got that. And then I'm not usually a purple person, but I thought this matched with the piece that I just showed right now. And so I got a lot of it. I'm just really into this type of style right now. Yeah, but tons here. And it's an interesting texture. Like it's almost like a very hard fabric, not cottony. And then here's more of this pattern. I think this is a tablecloth and I think she made these herself. There's more there. And then I found this really cool, I'm always looking for like velvety textures. So I got this, there's a little bit right here. It's velvet or it feels velvet and I love it. I'm definitely gonna be hoarding this. I think this is a scrap from something that she made. And then I got this very kind of like pearlescent material. I love it. I got this. Just reminds me of kind of kind of like feed sack. The bright colors and the little print. This is another one of those little pieces. Very 70s, so cool. It's a thick material again, like um, outdoor fabric. And I got, it's like leftovers from a project it looks like, but it got a good amount. I think this will be so pretty for a cover, just like kind of in the background. All right, now here is the culprit. I have to be really careful with this. It's glitter and it just got everywhere. But it is so pretty. Okay, I think the electricity just went out. This never happens and it happens right when I'm filming. <laughs> All right, let me, okay, it's back on. Okay, so this is um, just like a very shiny material with some sheen in it. And I'm gonna have to figure out a way to save myself from the glitter somehow. All right. Here is more of that floral pillowcase. And then I found some hankies. And they are really, really pretty. Here's one. Here's another one right here. I love the scalloped edge. Okay, seems like something's happening with electricity. So I'm gonna try to continue recording. Hopefully this is gonna be okay. Um, but there's a little bit of embroidery right here. And then this one, I love the print. If I knew how to scan like images in really good quality, I would totally try to print this and use it. But for now, maybe I'll just hoard it until I learn how to do that. <laughs> okay, there we, there we go. Electricity is back. And here's this one. I loved finding these handkerchiefs because they, they feel vintage. I mean, I'm pretty sure they're vintage. Um, but I went to a yard sale one time, not even an estate sale, just a yard sale. 
and I found a bunch of handkerchiefs, maybe like 15 handkerchiefs or something, and they were trying to charge me $50, so I did not get them. <laughs> this is a really cool pattern. Um, it's just like regular thread. I don't know if you can see that, but it'll be so cool for sheer pockets or just some texture. I hear like a clicking noise. I think someone's working on something. And when this noise happens and the electricity goes off. So let's see if it happens again. All right, this purple is a very interesting purple because there's a little bit of um, a shine to it. As you can tell if you've been watching my videos lately, I'm loving shine. <laughs> and then I just grabbed this. Um, I think it's a really pretty lilac cool pink. And I love stripes. So got that. All right, and then there is this huge piece of this velvety pink. It looks like it's from a long time ago. Um, but I love it. I'm sure I'm going to be able to use it because there's a lot, so I won't feel like I need to hoard. But I'm, I've been looking for this, so this is perfect. And there's a lot of it. Oh, and then here's another handkerchief. So pretty. I need to iron these. I was looking through my stash and I actually have a lot of handkerchiefs. So I started a whole box for it. I'm in the process of reorganizing my entire craft space and I think I might make videos because it's getting out of hand, you guys. You guys see all the stuff that I get, and I don't have a lot of space, so you can just imagine. <laughs> all right, so her office was very customized. It was separate from her craft area. Her craft area was like an entire garage, like a two car or two and a half car garage, and it was full of crafts. Her office was a huge room as well, and it was very customized, it seemed. Um, but I didn't look at a lot of stuff in the office because I was just busy in the craft room. But this notebook I thought was really cool. I don't think it's that old. It's probably from the 90s, but I think I'm going to have a lot of fun using this paper in journals. It's yellowed. It, The way the color is, it almost looks like what would be on an index card. And I like that there's no line down here. It's just a line across. So I loved finding that. And then, okay, this is what kept me so busy in the craft room. I was just trying to be very picky and I just picked exactly what I wanted. I didn't like take a lot of what I didn't love. This is so pretty. And then I was just putting it into this bag. This is so pretty. Like you can see that it's like a very light peach. It's a very wispy material, but it does have some structure. So pretty. I'm always looking for lace, so I thought this was really cute. I found this beautiful piece. It looks like something that could have come from like a 70s dress because this right here feels very, what is that 70s fabric? Like polyester, like extremely like that 70s fabric. And I just feel like this is what they wore when they, like it was their dressed up clothing. <laughs> so pretty.
and I like that the material is shiny so if I did just really cut close to the applique I could even use um, just the little bit on the outside for something and here are the sleeves That's just so cool. All right. So that's probably one of the my favorite finds of this estate sale. And then I found this little piece of fabric. Love the pattern. I found this. And I think this will be really cool. Just like on, a, on the edge of a page. And this, I'm not sure what kind of needlework this is, but I love it. I don't think I purposely threw this in there, but I think this will be cool for something, just for more texture. Love this lace. Yeah, so just lots of little bits and pieces that if you if I were to buy this, it would be so expensive. Like if even just going to Joanne's or something and getting a length of this. This looks very old to me. And I've been looking for something that has um, larger holes in it like this. I think it's so unique. And there's a lot on here. So I was very happy about this. It looks so old. I don't know if it's antique, probably not, but it looks like it. And I thought this was so cool. So, so cool. All right. And there's this right here. I have a lot of this eyelet already, not this particular eyelet, but um, this was different from what I normally get because of all the detail here, so I got that. These are shoelaces. Now, if this doesn't, I don't know, does it look, they look like 70s flowers, and I would really want to use it as a shoelace. I mean, it's probably not that old. It's from Payless because it's $2.99. And I would love to use it as a shoelace, like for my shoes. But that's going to like ruin the flowers. So I'll probably just end up using it in junk journals. But I wish things like this existed now because it just makes life more fun. <laughs> and then I found more velvety she had really good taste like in her really thick um the upholstery the thicker fabrics such good taste a little bit of this lace i probably would have wouldn't have gotten this but i think it was already in the bag i've been into purples lately so this is great and then, of course, I always look greens and teals. This looks soiled. I'm going to have to clean that. And, of course, this is so, so pretty. So pretty. I thought this was a very pretty design. It feels expensive. Very quality. This is going to be so fun to use in something. And this, I didn't realize there were so many of these. And I'm glad she cut these off of the original clothing because then now I can use it. <laughs> Some of the beading is falling off. I think it's just this like external stuff hopefully
this is so fun oh my gosh i'm gonna have to find a way to clean it but look at that more of this pieces cut out of clothing and love this this gold material and this is so cool even whatever's holding it together is so cool it's very stiff I don't know if you can see that and this looks super 70s maybe or maybe 80s but yeah so I have a little bit left from this sale to show you but I think I'm going to continue in a different video because it takes me so long to upload. Um, but I did save the best for last. Like all this stuff was super cool. Like I said, I picked what I thought was the best of the best. Like a lot of these could have been my favorites. But my favorite favorite <laughs> is coming up. I'll just put, I'm going to put it in the next video. But this is something that I always look for. And... I will try to put the videos like just right after each other but thank you so much for watching today have you guys been to state sales lately and if you have how have you found them this one um, they were willing to be flexible with the price so that was super nice I try to remember the names of those estate sales and then go to them more often um, but let me know how your experience has been with estate sales or yard sales or anything like that. Let me know what your favorite was from this video. Um, I have so many favorites. But thank you so much for watching today and I will talk to you next time. Bye everyone.